Your dashboard is your Stormboard homepage. You can customize the view of your dashboard to show your recent storms, which can be searched using the search bar at the top. From here, you can access everything that you need to manage your account, set up your meetings, get help, create a storm, join a storm, and more. You can also sort your storms in various ways and choose to view only closed or open storms if you prefer. Use the panel on the far left to switch between your team and personal accounts. Click the hamburger menu to open a navigation panel, which will give you access to the Stormboard website, your account management tools, and more. Those with a business or enterprise subscription will also have access to folders, which you can create just for yourself to organize your storms or share with members of your team to keep everyone's work easy to find and reference. You can also view all of your tasks and the activity happening across all storms from your dashboard using the panels on the right-hand side. Click Create a Storm from your dashboard. You will be asked to name your storm. We suggest naming it after the project, your team, or the business process you're planning to use. Select whether it is going to be a personal or team storm, and then you can choose to create a basic storm or choose a template. You can choose a template or change your template at any time by clicking the template button at the bottom of your storm. Stormboard has hundreds of templates for you to choose from. You can search for a specific process or use the categories on the left-hand side to filter the templates. Once you've found a template that interests you, you can preview the template and learn more about the process and the sections that will be available. to open a new sticky note. Choose the color of the note and type the content you would like to add to your storm. Click the check mark at the top of the note or hit enter to save. Click and drag to move the note where you want it on your template. You can also double click on the screen to create a new sticky note. The color of the note will be the same as what you selected for the previous sticky note that you created. Click once on any note to open the sticky note menu and click edit to edit the text. Once you've completed editing, you can click the check mark to save. There are multiple changes you can make using the sticky note menu. This includes changing the shape and the size of your sticky notes. Open your sticky note menu again to change the color of the note. You can change the color as many times as you like. You can also create labels for your sticky note colors using the legend in the right hand corner of your storm. Line connectors help to establish workflow and dependencies. Click once on a note and then click and drag the arrow to the note that you want to connect it to. You can customize the color, arrow direction, and add labels to your connector lines. All of these edits help to further organize your workflow and add more details for your team. sticky notes can be commented on. Ask questions, add updates, tag your team members, and more using this function.
you can also vote on content. This is a great way to get a consensus quickly and prioritize tasks with your team. By default, all team members have 10 votes. You can also assign sticky notes to members of your team and select a due date in order to easily keep track of ongoing projects and tasks. Use the viewfinder to zoom in and out and navigate to different areas of your storm. You can also click the screen and drag your mouse to move to a different section if you prefer to navigate that way. Click the Invite Users button at the bottom of your screen to invite people to collaborate with you. You can invite users as contributors or as viewers. Contributors will have full access to the storm and be added to your bill if they are not already on your team. Viewers will only be able to view the content and will not be active participants. You can invite via a link. Copy and paste the link in your messaging app, email, or another format. You can also invite using a storm ID and key that can be entered in the app on a Microsoft Surface Hub or by clicking join a storm from your dashboard. You can also enter the email addresses of the people that you want to join you in the storm, add a message, and send them an email with an invite link directly to the storm. Note that nobody will be able to access your storm or view your content unless they are invited in one of these three ways.